for them. Actually, you know, I think the last I heard of their book club, and this is not a joke, they all got so sick of having to read a book and never finishing it that now it's an Us Weekly club. And they read various <laughs> tabloid magazines because it's an excuse to get drunk. There should be morning, morning with Bill Schultz clubs. Uh, I would like to start a book club. There's a couple of things that I would like to start here. But you know what? It's a work in progress, Joshua. Uh, nice. We are already past the time. I'm trying to see. Oh, I want to no. end. Ooh. This is so much fun. With... I oh, I, I got one. Clip. I thought there was a clip of Greg. Oh, yeah, I'm saving that because there might be an oh, announcement. Oh, for better guests? No, there <laughs> might be an announcement <laughs> that I told you about. I want to save it for an episode people watch. <laughs> I'll explain afterwards. You Talk about spoilers. Later on. Um, I just have that in my monitor in case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, I wanted to bring this up because I wanted, cause, uh, one of our guests gave me a preview that she might have a, a little insight into how this guy works. All right, so just basically the, the kneeling... With the football, don't worry, it's not gonna have a lot to do with football. But uh, so uh, Mike Ditka, or uh, as we call him in Chicago, Jesus Christ! Oh God, please! <laughs> uh, is that really his name, Mike Ditka? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. is a, I knew those brownies were gonna kick in by hour two. Um, <laughs> yeah, he came out shockingly. Mike Ditka, not for the Neely thing. No, I mean, yeah. You think you know someone. Uh, here's his quote real real briefly. Uh, yes, I do care who you are, how much. No, I don't, yeah, I don't care who you are, how much money you make. If you don't respect our country, again, such is a weird dynamic for him, then you should, shouldn't be in the country playing football. Go to another country and play football. If you had to go somewhere else and try and play a sport, you wouldn't have a job. Goes on to say some stuff about respecting the flag, all that stuff. Again, just way out of his wheelhouse. Um, <laughs> Bova, uh, there's talk now that, like, you know, we have uh, Jerry Jones um, saying that uh, he, w anyone that did that kneeled, they would not be allowed to play. Mm -hmm. I don't. What do you think of this? Because it's like, you know, if this isn't a democracy. Is an owner? You can tell them what to. It isn't. I mean, you know, it's a privately owned thing. And boy, I'm brilliant. Uh, but he can tell them what to do, what not to do, and they can choose not to do. What do you think of all this? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right. Uh, I think uh, in this argument, uh, I think weirdly, like everyone is right. Like that's yeah, our, you know our, what? our country, mm -hmm. Josh, was founded by people dick. who were constantly <laughs> arguing with each other about what was right and what was wrong, and that's what like well, that's what it's all about. Yes, so thank you. you can. You can hate that guy for kneeling. You could hate that guy for saying he's gonna fire that guy for kneeling. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's that's what like that's what free speech is about, and that's also what protest is about. I love that, and unfortunately, like that doesn't go Josh. that doesn't go over well uh, with punditry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, warrior. Have you read your punditry textbook? I gave it to you guys before you came through the door. <laughs> no, but it is so right. That's what this country was built on. Um, and also, do you have any thoughts on Mike Ditka overall? I do. I actually just thought, re realized that I probably shouldn't even talk about this because it makes That's, myself look really bad. No one's watching. I was dating a guy that was running a campaign, a political campaign, the guy that was running actually against um, Barack Obama at the time, back in the mid-2000s. Interesting. In Chicago, I was there visiting him, was out with some, some uh, I would say, po political peeps who leaned very much to the right. Gotcha. We went to Ditka's. I was I brought my one of my best friends with me who lives or in Or as we called in Chicago, church. <laughs> okay. It's a restaurant. Very, very good restaurant. And the guys that I was with, they were they were known to Mike Ditka. So we came over and it was a lovely conversation. Somehow it's we started getting into politics. And I, after twelve to nineteen thousand drinks, started to think this would be really cute if I got really sassy with him and, you know, played devil's advocate, I you know, it. went way, way, way to the left. And we started talking about abortion and he was oh, so God. enraged. I, I made the mistake. By the way, can we just examine talking about uh, abortion with Mike Ditka at Ditka's restaurant? <laughs> After a lot of alcohol. I would watch five hours of that. Well, I, oh, you would love, I watched a fun way to get at him. Yeah, abortion. Can you picture with yeah, a cigar be like... <laughs> Come again? Yeah, to be fair to me, there was the talk did get political because I was with political guys. Well, yeah. You should have seen them shrinking, shrinking, shrinking as I played devil's advocate and then brought up the, well, if your daughter was, you know. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, needless was that to say. Before, after the sirloin. Well, that was uh, uh, right, before, uh, right before he said, get the hell out. Literally stood up and went, get 
get the, I think he even said fuck, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Oh, just like wow. out of his restaurant, booted me out of the restaurant. Oh my goddamn hero. I mean, I like, at least boot me out for standing on a table and taking my bra off and throwing you or something like that. But no, I got for You would have been said, get the fuck back in if you'd done that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh God, you are my good. hero. Yes. Kicked out yes, of. Yes, it was You know, bad. I was born and raised in the burbs of Chicago and this is the first time I've ever talked to someone who got kicked out of <laughs> oh. I witnessed how, uh, how did the Bears do last night, by the way? Is, uh, the Star Wars trailer was at halftime. <laughs> or uh, uh, Joshua. The there, Neil, not to Neil. There's a bear in Chicago named Mike Dick. <laughs> Actually, possibly. I cannot get over that. <laughs> a bear in Chicago <laughs> named Mike Dick. Uh, all right, well, gay. Okay. Get, get Goldie and gay, gay, gay. Does he get know Goldie about, and Kurt ready, guys. Uh, does guys, he know about Dick been, Butkus? Huh? Does he know about Dick Butkus? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the same sport? <laughs> Butkus is a name, Bears? not a position. Or the Packers. Uh, uh, is Butkus for the Packers? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Wow. What? You can't make this up.